Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our Dotster hosting account. And as you can see, we've already opened the Getting Started email. We'll begin by clicking on the link for the control panel. We'll log in. And here you can see the Dotster VDEC 4 control panel. We'll go down to the website section and click on the WordPress icon. Here you can see the Mojo Marketplace installer. While it is certainly a capable installer, it is not our favorite and it is the slowest installer we use. We'll click the install button. The first thing we'll need to do is select our domain. ncmtest02.com is correct. Then if we'd like to install it in a directory, let's say blog, we would type that name here. But as we are going to be using WordPress as the content management system for the entire site, we'll leave the default it will not install in a directory named directory if we leave that there this is impossible to delete so you can just ignore that we'll click on the check domain button As I said, Mojo Marketplace is a bit on the slow side. We'll ignore this message as it always seems to be incorrect. We would like to see advanced options and we'll give our site a name. We'll call it NCM Test Site. Admin Username. Our email address is fine and the password they've created for us is fine. We'll copy that and use that later when we log into the WordPress dashboard. Automatically create a new database. Yes, that's correct. And we'll check off agreeing to the terms and conditions. Then we'll click the Install Now button. We'll get rid of this wonderful pop-up ad. And here you can see the WordPress installation progress bar. You can ignore all of this. These are just ads for Mojo Marketplace WordPress themes. The only thing we really need to pay attention to here is this progress bar. And as indicated earlier, Mojo Marketplace is a rather slow installer.
The message tells us that the installation is complete. Next we'll view the credentials. We'll click on view. We'll get rid of the pop-up. And here are our new WordPress credentials. We have the URL of our site where WordPress has been installed. We have the admin URL which we'll use to log in. We have our admin username and our admin password. Step 2, browse themes and plugins. This is basically just advertising so you can ignore it. We'll click on the admin URL in order to log into the WordPress dashboard. We'll log in. And here we can see our brand new WordPress dashboard. From this menu we can control all of our WordPress settings. To add a new post we simply go to plus new and click on the post link. Here we would add a title for our post and here we would add the content. Then we would just click the publish button. But we're not going to create a new post now. We're simply going to look at our new test site by using the visit site link at the very top of the dashboard. And here you see our new WordPress site. This tells us that it has been successfully installed. The title of the site and the description of the site, these can both be changed using the WordPress dashboard. The theme, which is the look of the site, can also be changed using the WordPress dashboard. This is the Hello World default post. It can be deleted using the WordPress dashboard. I want to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.